Welcome back everyone. Well, this next piece caught our eye recently when we were out and about in downtown Mankato. Yeah, an interesting series of murals gracing the outside wall of the Blue Earth County Library had us wondering where they came from. So we got some answers. We got a generous gift from a Mankato resident. Uh, her name is Marianne Waldron and she's a, she was a longtime teacher and she's a, a writer. She authored some picture books for children. Uh, we of course have them in the library. When she passed away, she donated um, her money to the library and we were able to, because Marianne loved children and loved teaching and literacy so much, we used that money to make some improvements at the library. And we started with this patio out here for kids. Um, and we knew we needed something fun, something colorful out, out here. And I'd uh, seen Justin X work, mostly uh, what he does for the Day of the Dead here in Mankato. But you see his pieces popping up and they're bright and colorful and fun. And so I contacted Justin to see if he'd be interested in doing a mural for the space. And he of course was, he was delighted. And I gave him some of Mary Ann's books to use as inspiration and he just took it away from there. Justin wanted to create, a, create pieces that would inspire children to think about the story behind them. Uh, you know, bright colors, maybe a little fantasy uh, involved a little bit. Uh, my favorite, of course, is the frog. Um, that seems to be uh, well liked, but um, the fairy, Justin told me, was inspired by Marianne Waldron's one of her books um, that she had written, so that's where the fairy comes from. And the giraffe and the bear and um, the tiger are all Justin. Uh, and I, I love to see the kids come out and see them and start talking about them. The tiger and the fairy, I will say, are everybody's favorite. Um, the little girls, I love to see them come out. And I've seen there was a few the other day who were standing underneath the fairy just looking up at her. Um, so that was pretty neat. We started talking about it in January. Um, and he had a lot of iterations of which ones to use. Um, Justin, of course, is a creative genius. So he had so many uh, different characters and we really had to hone down on our favorites and I think, uh, I think we did. Um, and then he worked with Joe Bailey at SignPro to talk about what medium to use, what would work the best on the exterior of the building. Uh, we initially talked about doing it directly onto the building, painting the building, but that of course wouldn't stand up, wouldn't stand the test of time. And nobody wanted us touching our beautiful custoda stone. Um, so we uh, landed on these and um, I think SignPro and Justin just did a fabulous job. And the project's not done yet, so last year we, we started with the patio and then of course the mural and this September we're going to be do renovating the inside of the children's space in the library. So new flooring, new ceiling, um, new shelving and furniture. We are a busy library right now and it's summer so this is where libraries, public libraries shine. When schools close down, public libraries pick up. We have over a thousand kids right now participating in our summer reading program. We've had activities all summer long. Um, it's been a busy summer. We're ready to uh, have have those kids go back to school and get back into the rhythm of things for a little bit um, so we can regroup and uh, recalibrate and get ready for our makeover in the uh, children's wing. And the Blue Earth County Library is located at 100 East Mankato or East Main Street in Mankato. Always lots going on there for families. Check out the website for more details and we'll wrap things up for you when we come back.